welcome back. I'm so thrilled that you guys loved our reveal of our creative studio. Oh my gosh, last week, I was just thrilled to have that space pulled together. All right, let's get you quickly back up to speed. The back house has been humming along and since it's single wall construction, we wanted to change all that, do double wall construction, although we're spending more money and more time than we had hoped. I am standing in a three foot deep ditch. We also reconfigured the space and had to add a support beam, which is just gigantic and has to be there. Also, I couldn't do a renovation on an island house and not do an outdoor shower. Why is the sewer in my outdoor shower? So now the remaining things to get done are the electrical and the plumbing, and we're working on so much stuff we're actually starting omg we're coming over again and we're starting to go over to other people's places we've cased out some i'm so excited to dive into those projects too you'll be seeing those coming out on our channel hopefully soon enough speaking of people coming over we have someone coming over to our house today that i'm actually really nervous about <laughs> Can't wait to renovate. There's no time to go on dates. How will it turn out? OMG, we, we bought, bought a house. house. On the island? Wait, what? It's our dream home. Hopefully. Mom, show me that door. Coming. Good morning, everybody. Getting ready for today. Uh, we have an unwanted guest coming. I mean, like... Highly anticipated, highly stressed over. My heart races just thinking about it. When I get stressed, I need like a project to do just to take my mind off of it. So let's uh, stain some faux beams, shall we? So this is cool. You can really see how we put them together. So let's see, we're deciding Okay, so these are excess pieces of the faux beams, right? Yes. Yeah. Like, do you see this wood? It's just store-bought wood. Oh my gosh, it looks like driftwood. So we have this giant glue lamp beam, which is supporting the entire side of this wall. And then we also have our faux beams that are running perpendicular. We're gonna make them all look sort of like the same wood by staining them all. So we've got a range. We've got lighter brown, a gray, which will not look like that at all. The, the wood will show through and then like a darker. I think maybe, is this, which one's my fave? This is Jacobian. Jacobian. <laughs> choosing stain is like choosing a paint color. You've got to swatch it. So we've got some little extra pieces of the sandblasted wood because, of course, all that texture is going to grab the stain in different ways. So it's really important that we're testing these colors on the actual wood that we're going to stain. Whoa! Okay. Wait a second. Are these semi-transparent? Wait. Wait. Do we have a rag? Get it off! Get it off! Run and get a rag. Give me your shirt. Take off your panties. Give me something. Joey, panties. <laughs> this is why we test because they don't look exactly like the color on the can. You gotta see it in person. Actually not as bad. And this one feels a lot more transparent. Ooh, that's actually pretty though. What do you think? It certainly makes the grain come out even more. <laughs> Ew. So wait, 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 let me pull up. I'm looking for the picture of the floors. Okay. So these are the floors we're doing. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a nice combo. Like an oak. What I like about this is it's toned down the yellows a bit. Joey and I are on board with this new American tone. I like how kind of just medium toned it is. It's not too in your face dark. It's not like a lighter shade. I think it will really bring the eye up, add some contrast up there once we get the drywall in there as well. So that's a winner. It's a winner. Done. Yes. That's how we make decisions. Let's stay. Now get me off this floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is really hard to stain this textured of wood. Obviously, there's so many little pits, like you really gotta work in the brush. A rag is kind of pointless because it's just grabbing on all the little splinters. So I think a sprayer is gonna be the way to go, but it's just gonna be so annoying to tape everything off. That'll be Joey's job. <laughs> Did that? Okay. Yep. Now pull up more no, tape. Where did that corner go? 
Who's coming over, you might wonder? Well, someone very important, someone who could make or break this renovation project that we've been working so hard on. The inspector. Dun, dun, dun. Like literally it's dun, dun, dun because if they don't approve, it sets us back. We could have to redo stuff. Electrical is such a serious part of design, guys. If you are doing a renovation project, get really real about your electrical because lighting is, I mean, should I put a percentage on it? I don't know, 30, 40% of design. You need amazing light to highlight your other beautiful design choices. And the rough-in is the time to do it. It's actually a lot of pressure that I'm feeling because I've got to decide where we're putting sconces, where we're putting recessed lights, where we're putting pendants or chandeliers, where we're putting ceiling fans. There's so many decisions. Then you also have to figure out where you're putting all your plugs, all your wall switches. It's a lot to think about. And then the hits just keep on coming. We just found out that all of the pipe that runs the electrical wires to the back house to supply the main electricity are rusted out and corroded. So we have to dig another trench in our yard. And obviously that has to all be up to code too. Cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> the inspector is here and he did not like that we had cameras. So cameras off. We're like trying to sneak around and like get a view of what he's doing. He's been in there for a while. There's a lot of components that have to be like done exactly correct. And if you get it wrong, they just get to tell you, redo it, which sucks because that will potentially cost you a lot of money. Okay, yeah. So we're good? Or what's that? All right, cool. Thank you. Go ahead and take these two. Yeah, okay. All right, thank you. Have a good one. Yes! Yes! We passed inspection! Ah! I'm so happy, so relieved. Now we get to the pretty stuff, you guys. This is huge. This is what you've been watching for, okay? Now we get to get to the decorating. Now we get to seal in the walls and paint and design and install the kitchen and get all the pretty stuff going. Oh, I'm so excited. Drywall. <laughs> I'm so thrilled that we passed inspections. Time to bring in the insulation, the drywall, and we're gonna get it all buttoned up. We're gonna head over to Reuse Hawaii, our favorite salvage yard, and see if we can find some tile. We wanted to see if we could find some salvage tile because it's a great way to save money. There's always overages on people's projects, so you will often find like brand new, unused tile, and we found just that. Okay, so there's a ton of this. And we need tile for the guest bathroom, like the middle bathroom, uh -huh. for like the shower. So what I've seen being done with this shape lately, which I think is really cool and also kind of a classic look, I think, is mounting them vertically. So rather than doing like a long, you know, sub kind of subway, whatever, you're doing this vertical. These are pretty perfect. So maybe we could do like a sandier grout with these so that the grout lines are a little more textured. Obviously these are really neutral tiles. Creamy, white, long subway tile, but rather than setting them in a normal subway pattern, horizontal, we're going vertical and stacked. So it's a really fresh, new, on-trend look, but I also think because of the color and the verticality, it's just very classic. So I think it will age well with the house. I just looked it up. In the store, it would cost us around 64 bucks a box and get it for $40 per box, as long as I can find full boxes.
Good to go. We're also gonna get this basil sink. This is 30 bucks. It's in really good shape, and this will look really cool on top of a piece of furniture for the vanity. All right, success. So different in here with the drywall in. Also, we have paused on the staining of these beams because I did not like how the joint patching was showing through with the semi-transparent stain. Um, it's because we had to fill in the gaps on the edges of the beams, and as you can see, it's showing. So we're paused on that. We're gonna figure it out and do a different kind of stain. We went with the seven foot tall doors, which makes such a difference. Another decision you guys have to consider when renovating is what finish do you want on your drywall, okay? You will go into some older places. Some rental apartments have what is called an orange peel finish. I don't like it, okay? I don't want orange peels on my wall. No, that is a textured finish. Why do they do that? Because it covers imperfections. It's actually the cheaper way to go with drywall. We're going for a level five, which of course is the more expensive option, but it's a smooth finish. So basically, it requires that many more layers of mud, sanding, more mud. It results in a beautiful smooth finish on your walls, but more money out of your pocket, so. Orange peel, smooth, you gotta weigh the texture options. We are also now putting in the glass wall in the primary bathroom. So we basically just cut in a channel in the exterior stucco and then put a low profile channel on the floor, slide in the two pieces of glass, and then once we put all the flooring in, we'll come back in and put in a glass door that will open both ways with like hydraulic hinges. It's gonna be, Super nice. What do I do? No. What do they do? Mwah. So now that we have our walls up, we can work on that inner bathroom because we need to do a tile surround around the tub. We're not going with any edging. We're just doing straight tile. Certainly not the most polished look, but in our minds, a more like designed look. how good these beams are looking with the drywall. I know. Buying these extra inches in the height makes such a difference in here. So what are we doing about the stain though? Because this wood is obviously different than this wood. So for whatever reason, this wood is not taking Brown. the stain. I think we need to do like a non-transparent stain. I don't want it to be super dark though. Okay, so we'll just finish spraying over that then. Yeah. Great, easy. Okay, so you now you gotta mind. tape off all these beams now that we have the drywall all done and perfect. Um, okay, we got sconces going there and there. We've got the electrical going centered over the island. Well, our little electrical feed down here to go up into the island. Yep, so we've got plugs in the island. We're gonna have the microwave in the cabinets of the island. This is our stove. It's all, <laughs> I'm trying to give you a hug. Oh. <laughs> it's all looking like so fun and cool. And nice. I know, this is gonna be such a gorgeous room. We get to start decorating! It's so smooth! Look! It's, it's so fun. Pretty. I'm so excited about this tile that we found because it's like this cool like cream. It's almost like a vintagey white. I know. I think it's gonna be so pretty too because I wanna go dark on the walls in here. It's simple, like if I were to buy a new tile, a handmade tile, maybe I would have picked something with a color, but this was available. It's nice neutral. This is a middle bathroom where a lot of guests are gonna go and I can do a color on the walls. And I really like that we went with like the rough edge. I know you normally put like a metal edge on things, but I just didn't want the metal edge. I wanted it to be like the rough edge of the tile. Toilet vanity. Toilet vanity. I'm gonna pick out those light fixtures. And then this is the 
very small guest room, but we're doing one of our new beds on this wall. Yes, one of our wall beds. And with, with storage on either side. Okay, so this is the best view. Like you wake up, you come out of the bedroom, you see the mango tree. Yeah, that is really cute. The moon's like playing on the place set. Maybe. And then this is gonna be like really cool because we're gonna have this built-in cabinets right here. Yeah. And this is the bed. There's like orange crush. <laughs> this isn't how we're gonna style it. We're gonna... <laughs> And then the We're glass. not going for the orange crush color palette, but yeah, bed, wall, built-in wall sconces. You got the nice little switch for the wall sconces next to the bed, so you don't have to get out of bed. That's luxurious. That is luxurious. And then this little indoor-outdoor paradise right here. And the glass is starting to come in. The shower is looking spectacular. There's gonna be a door here. It's not just gonna be open, but yeah, they just course. installed the side panels. <gasps> I'm so excited! These valves look high to me. I know. I think we measured this while I was in my platforms too. <laughs> this is a standard height. The problem is <laughs> I'm not a standard height. <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. You see the design actually coming together. We're gonna be picking paint colors and painting, installing the kitchen, installing the floors. There's so much beautiful stuff ahead of us. So stay tuned to our upcoming videos because we not only are finishing this space, but we also have some other places that we are working on. So many different aesthetics. You guys are gonna just be so inspired. We're gonna be doing a ton of DIY projects a la old school OMG we're coming over episodes. So yeah, see you soon-ish. <laughs>